Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Let me drink some water. Okay. Uh, and uh, for this video, I'm gonna talk about aggregation framework inside the MongoDB. The query selector, they still have other options. Uh, now I don't have time to cover all of them. Okay, so I will stop and if I have time, then I'll come back and add uh, for like uh, array or for uh, others, uh, evaluation. Evaluation, I only use one of them called regular expression. Okay, and uh, array, actually you can search based on element or element each of those, okay. And others I couldn't remember now. So I think if you understand uh, how to do the logical or how to do the element, uh, you can go and read your read the API, okay? The online official documentation, I think you can do by yourself. So uh, let's give a brief introduction on the aggregation framework. Then we will talk about uh, like uh, group or talk about the match or project one by one. So the aggregation, uh, which means it can uh, provide, it provides some operators which will process the data and return the result to you. It can have the operator like uh, it can group the data and then you do some um, operations like a, f a sum, average, uh, while we do the group and then you can continue do the uh, projection or you can continue do the filter using the match then it will can also eventually can also return a single result for you and the aggregation framework inside uh, MongoDB it provides three ways the first way is called aggregation pipeline okay and which is we have a certain stage and the data will go one by one Okay, and uh, the second one is the map reduce, which you can use the map reduce method. Then you can put different uh, uh, functions and to produce the result. But uh, map reduce is not that uh, recommended uh, to use in MongoDB um, because uh, we have a better ways if we want to process uh, big data. You can using other big data um, way to do that that like a Hadoop uh, other options and uh, the other way is uh, inside uh, uh, MongoDB it also has some uh, aggregated uh, methods ready like a count like a distinct if you just want to get how many elements right then you can just directly using count no no need to do the aggregation pipeline and for this uh, for the following videos, I'm gonna only introduce aggregation pipeline, okay? So uh, let's stop on this video and uh, we continue with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.